Yo, what's up everybody? It's Ashington DC here with another video. Today, I'm going to be starting my uh, Java tutorial series. This is the introduction. I'll be showing you the traditional Hello World program that mostly everybody starts out with anyway. Um, so before we get to that, I'd just like to tell you a little bit about my background in uh, programming and computer science in general. So about a couple years ago, uh, I got introduced to the world of programming through uh, Minecraft, which is actually a Java-based game, in case you don't know that. Um, if you watched my previous videos, you probably know that, but uh, anyway, uh, I kind of got into modding it and creating hacks and stuff, really got into the code, and I wanted to learn more, but uh, I'm really bad at teaching myself um, things in general, so... I, uh, I'm taking a computer science course in school. I'm a freshman in high school, so um, I think I've come pretty far. Learned a lot about, you know, just the basics and all. And uh, I know everybody learns a different way, so I'm just trying to put out my way of learning things uh, out to everybody. So, uh, you know, hopefully that helps some people out there. And it's a good field to be interested in, so uh, just trying to help people. Alright, so you're going to want to hit that link in the description below first, and it'll take you to this page. And right here, you're going to hit this download button. This will download the Java Development Kit and NetBeans 8.0.1, or whichever the current version is. And for this one, too. Um, so NetBeans is an IDE. This will let you uh, input and compile code into an executable program. And, well, that's basically where you type in code. And in case you didn't understand what I said before. So NetBeans is a fairly simple IDE. Um, there's other IDEs such as Eclipse and uh, other ones that aren't coming up right now. But um, NetBeans is fairly simple. It's got everything you need for now. Um, so we'll be using that. So hit it, uh, download it, and install everything. And then come back to this video. Okay, so here we go, NetBeans, right here. Um, what you want to do first is hit this button right here that'll make a project um, Java Java application hit next and yeah you can uh, save it right here I guess project location or save it wherever you want to and give your project a name how about hello world for now you're gonna hit finish and it'll create your project ain't that cool and there we go, it's here. So this right here is the IDE. Um, you're going to be starting most of your uh, programs with this public static void main uh, string brackets orgs. So this is where basically your entire application is going to go. Well, for this. You'll learn more about this later on. This is just a simple hello world program. So... What we're going to do is create a program that will print hello world or any other text of your choosing into the uh, output box right here. So what you want to type first is system dot out dot print and then put in a parentheses opening parentheses and it'll automatically complete it for you so we're going to type in quotes and then it'll add another for you and in there you're going to type in the text so we're going to say hello world and throw in an explanation point there. so every uh, statement in Java needs to be ended with this a semicolon and Whenever you have text, you're usually going to enclose it within um, these quotes because that um, symbolizes a string. So we got this entire uh, statement right here, and it's not showing any errors. Now, if I were to get this, uh, remove this, it's going to give me an error because situm is not a package or a command in Java. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't know what to do with it, so it's going to give you an error. And it's usually not going to run errors, so 
uh, this will make sure that your program is uh, executable and compilable. So once you have no errors, you can hit the uh, run button up here. That will save your program automatically and run it down here. And there we go. Hello world. So you can change hello world to anything that you want. Really any text can go here. We can say hello about hello uh, YouTube. And we hit run. And it's going to say hello YouTube. Now, okay, I'll be going a bit more in depth with this. I guess in this lesson as well. Um, so system.out.print will print everything in a single line. So if we were to add another one right here, and say, what's up? Need that semicolon right there. And we were to run this, it would print, hello YouTube, what's up, on a single line. And that kind of looks weird, I guess. So what you would do is add print ln instead of print line. Print. So this is called print line. Um, and basically what that does is it, it'll print the text here and then it'll place the cursor on the next line. So if I were to run this. It'll type in hello YouTube and then put the cursor down here and then type in what's up and then it'll put the cursor down here again so the build successful appears at the bottom instead of appearing right after this like before. So those are just uh, little uh, basic commands in Java. Um, you got the hello world thing working. So that's about it for this little introduction. I'll be covering more topics later on in uh, other videos that'll come up. Well, basically whenever I have time. But, uh, yeah, this is uh, it for now. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. If you enjoyed this tutorial, if it helped you, um, please give it a like. If Again, if you can uh, give me any suggestions, any tips for uh, how I should structure these little mini lessons, I guess, um, you can put that in the comments below as well. Um... Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Check out my other videos. I do uh, product unboxings, reviews. Um, I do gaming videos. And, you know, all that geeky tech stuff. <laughs> but, yeah, thanks again for watching. My name is Ashington DC, and I hopefully will see you again in another video.